I was wondering if uh, your new book, what significance it had for people who have um, completed in engineering and other programs. Oh, you mean to say the failed candidates of an engineering program <laughs> See, even when you went to school, uh, the teachers came and taught you something, you did not get it. So you went and went home and read the textbook, you did not get it. Examination came and you failed, obviously you did not get it. So then they'll give you a guidebook, you know, like if you cannot see, they'll give you a guide dog. Like that, if you cannot get it, they'll give you a guidebook, which is a simpler version of everything. <laughs> if you could get it, you could read a textbook and find it's not enough, and read a reference book, which has many more things than what you need for your examination. But you're interested in knowing, you're not interested in just getting a little bit. But if you can't get it, then we give you a guidebook. So this is more like a guidebook. <laughs> those who will not get to in engineering or those who got there and didn't get it. No Sadhguru, I got it. That means you did not get it. Because inner engineering is not a one-time thing, it's an ongoing process. This is the nature of the existence. Right now, you may just see the color of the leaves at fall time and have romantic ideas coming out of it. But as far as the earth is concerned, it is engineering its future for the winter because if the leaf doesn't cover the earth and when there's no falls, the tree will die. So, when the sun was up, it needed leaf up there. When there's no falls, it needs leaf down there and if the foliage is on and if the snow falls, the tree will break too. So, they're engineering their life continuously, the way it is necessary for them. So, engineering is not like one time you did it and that's it, I've done the program. It's not a qualification. It is an evolution of the human being. So, uh, you have seen this is not because of nature of what is being offered to you, but the nature of how most people make use of it. Have you not noticed that when you went through the inner engineering program, whatever you went through, whether the fourteen-day one or seven-day one or five-day or four-day or two-day, <laughs> you remember immediately after the program how beautifully it worked, yes or no? But slowly, many have gone back to their old positions. They remember inner engineering as a nice experience in their life. It's been from an aspiration, inner engineering was an aspiration. Now it has gone into a cherishing mode. <laughs> no, inner engineering is neither an aspiration nor should it be in a cherishing mode. It should be in an ongoing engineering mode. <laughs> that means constantly engineering this. The fundamentals are there, but engineering must continue, isn't it? So, uh, the book is a wonderful reminder for those of you who found inner engineering worked f in a fantastic way for three day, three weeks and pretty good for three months, six months later just a few things worked and six years later, Shambhavi was such a pleasant memory. 
So this book is not something that you read and throw kind of book. This is something that you use every day to engineer yourself, to bring certain simple aspects into reality. The book is not teaching you how to become something. The book is only talking about how to position yourself so that life will find its way. In what posture should you sit right now for these lungs to operate properly? Is it true that if you lie down on your face, your lungs will not operate properly? Yes or no? If you sit up like this, it works better. This is how the body is engineered, so we have to… If you want to breathe well, we sit like this. Similarly, for various aspects of your life, there are different positions that you need to take physically, psychologically, emotionally, energy-wise, for it to blossom. So these are simple fundamental principles as to how you can hold these different aspects so that, so that it'll blossom. In an engineering program also is the same thing, but as you have relegated it into cherishing mode, that you cherish those seven days, it was so nice, the program. Then the book will bring back the program and remind you there is nothing nice about it. It is just that if you use it, it works. If you don't use it, it doesn't work. It's just simple. There's really nothing nice about in engineering. What's nice about it? Nothing nice. In fact, what's nice about me? Nothing nice about me. All the time picking problems out of you. Just uh, three days ago I asked somebody about <laughs> something. Did somebody give you feedback on what you're doing or did they praise you? They told me, whoever praises anybody in Isha, all they do is pick on problems. I said, that's good <laughs> because what you're doing well will anyway bear fruit. We don't have to say anything nice about it. It will anyway bear fruit. What you're not doing well is what needs to be fixed. And people who want to be popular with you but they don't care a damn once you're not with them, they will praise you. But if somebody is really concerned about you, they'll pick on all your problems and tell you what it is because that's what needs to be fixed. What you're doing well anyway will bear fruit, isn't it? That doesn't need praise from me or anybody. Life will pay you back for doing things well. What you're not doing well, for that life will punish you. It's best that those things are fixed at the earliest. So the book is just a reminder, daily reminder. Reminder means, see, so it's like your alarm bell. You want to wake up in the alarm to at, at a certain time, you keep an alarm bell. Sadhguru, ten years ago I set… I had set an alarm one day, I woke up on that day. It's no use. Today morning did you wake up is the question, isn't it? So is alarm bell a one-time tool in your life or a daily tool? It's just like that. Inner engineering is a daily tool. It's not a one-time thing. Book is to make that statement very clear to you, Inner engineering is not a one-time thing, it's a daily thing. So, those who have done the program must carry it with them as a guidebook. Because you don't have a guide dog, you need a guidebook. <laughs> and you should not take it as a teaching, you should just carry it as a toolkit.